welcome back. Um, in today's video, the topic will be how to create an unbypassable, um, uh, basically like anti-mention, anti-ping, basically. So my last video that I did on this was um, was questionable. I I'm not sure why I chose the code that I chose because someone pointed out to me in the comments that there's an easy bypass. So I just wanted to make this video um, to fix it because. Um, I'm sort of embarrassed because that was such garbage code that I gave you guys, so here's the unbypassable one. So, um, basically in the message event, let's do if message.content dot includes, and we're going to check if it includes a mention of our user ID. So, how we check for that is this less than sign, I would say, at, um, explanation point. And then um, paste your user ID into here. Um, if you don't know how to get your user ID, you can um, basically turn on developer mode and you can get your user ID um, by right clicking on your name and you should get the option to copy ID. Okay, and we're just going to close it off here. So basically checking to see if um, there's any um, content. Well, no, if, if, if the message content includes a mention of your username and if it does then we're going to proceed to do this so we're going to do message.delete and we're going to return actually I'll just do message to reply it doesn't really matter um, you cannot ping this user okay so once we've done that um, people can still obviously um, edit your the message and ping you um, so that's why we need to fix that with the client on message update event which checks for when a message is updated or edited. So um, how we can do that is I'm pretty sure it's kind of on message update. Let me get it straight from here because I didn't want to misspell it. Okay and we can pass in um, old message which is the old message before the edit and um, new message which is the message after the edit. Okay and after we do this um, we're only going to be using a new message, but um, when I've tried it without the old message, it does the the event doesn't work. So um, basically, on message update, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing um, an if statement. If um, new message, uh oh, my it's lagging. New message dot content dot. So basically, the same thing. It's just instead of message, it's just new message new message .content includes, um, and basically literally the same thing okay and if it does open up brackets um, new message dot delete and new message dot reply you cannot ping this user oops spelled it wrong okay so after we've done that we can just file save open up a new terminal Okay, it was pretty quick. I guess you just have to record like 10 videos where you wait for 10 minutes and then it might actually load a bit faster because that's exactly what I did. Okay, there we go. Node in next.js. Let's wait for this to um, send a ready message. Okay, perfect. So now we can actually test this. Um, I spammed this because there's... Um, I, I joined my alt account which um, has a inappropriate name and I was just testing something so um, you don't need to see the inappropriate name but let's just um, test the actual um, code out so if we just do at joybean so this will delete and so you cannot ping this user and now to confirm that we have um, that we cannot bypass this like in the last video which was absolutely crap home this is ruining my 420 ping this is not okay Okay, yes, okay, 420 ping. Or not. Oh, yeah, okay, it just took a while to load. Okay, anyways, so the problem with the last one is you can ping someone before the actual user and bypass this. So, for example, if I ping at dino, at jiggy, at, uh, I don't even know what his name is. I don't know why he changed it to that. Anyways, and then at joey bean. You cannot ping this user. Okay. So now we've got that out of the way. Now we need to check if we can edit this and bypass this. Hey Joey, please no ban, fam. Okay, and once we've done that, we can edit this. And we can even do like at dino, at joybean, 
then it will be the same. You cannot be this user. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, I'm super close to 75 servers um, with my bot, so if you would like to help me get verified bot developer, um, I would appreciate you inviting him. The invite link will be in the description and um, in the pinned comment. And I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!